Oops. <laughs> okay, a question I get asked all the time is where should I leave my dough when it needs to rest? Now, do not go and find a heat source, okay? Don't snuggle it in all cozy into the airing cupboard. Don't stick on top of the oven, next to the auger, next to the radiator. Don't go and find a heat source. You don't need to keep it warm. That is a massive mistake. If you make your dough follow my instructions, water at room temperature, dough at room temperature, hard work, kneading at room temperature, leave it to rest at room temperature. If you change the environment, if you take it somewhere cold to somewhere warm, or from somewhere warm to somewhere cold, if you change the environment, you're just making issues for yourself. If you've got a heat source coming here, and not here, it's gonna puff up like this. Because the warmth will really excite that yeast, and it's gonna puff up unevenly. It doesn't matter about the speed, it matters about the unevenness, the inconsistency of the puff inside of the dose, what you wanna avoid. Just leave it on a side of room temperature, and everything will be fine. If you're worried, avoid breezes. Don't stick an extra open window. Don't put an extra somewhere warm. And if you are worried, put it in the kitchen cupboard. Stick it in the kitchen cupboard. Close your door. Go and sit down and have a cup of tea. Relax for 60, 90 minutes. In my experience, I've been teaching people to bake in their homes for three and a half years, right? Never have a problem at room temperature. If it's 20 degrees, 23 degrees, 16 degrees, 14 degrees in one house, it's gonna change the speed that it puffs up, but the most easiest, foolproof way to do it, make everything room temperature, leave it at room temperature with a cloth on top. Zero issues. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it's helped you out, and if you have a question, stick it in the box underneath. Um, if you liked it, please click like, click subscribe, and you won't miss a single thing. And I will see you next time for another bread making Q&A. See you then.